Okay, here we have a projectile motion type of problem. So we have a ball is thrown up from a height of 5 feet and an initial velocity of 40 feet per second. We want to find an equation that models the height of the ball okay, relative to the ground as a function of time, and then we want to find the maximum height the ball will reach. Okay, so what is this y value here? When we do these problems in a math class, we tend to disregard air resistance. So if we do, we have a formula that um, can be used to solve such a problem. Okay? We have a formula that can be used to find the height of the ball as a function of time. So let me give that to you. Okay, the formula is s of t is equal to negative 1 half times g times t squared. Okay, this g here, that's the acceleration due to gravity. Plus v naught times t v naught is the initial velocity, plus s naught, and that's the initial height. Okay, to determine the value of g we use, we have to look at c and see what units are being used for distance. In this case, it's feet. So if distance is being measured in feet, then g is around 32 feet per second squared. If distance is measured in meters, then g is around 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay, so now to find the equation that models the height of the ball as a function of time, we just substitute in the value of g, which in this case we're using feet, so we're going to use 32. This is our initial velocity. And since the ball is going upward, we use a positive value for the initial velocity, so that's going to be 40. And then for right here, we plug in the initial height, so that's 5. Therefore, we have s of t is equal to negative 1 half times 32 times t squared plus v naught t. So plus 40t plus the initial height, which is 5. Okay, So once again, this 40 came from the initial velocity, and this 5 came from the initial height. So we can clean this up by multiplying the negative 1 half and the 32. So we have s of t is equal to negative 16t squared plus 40t plus 5. Okay, so this right here is the equation or the function that models the height of the ball in terms of time. Okay, now we need to find the maximum height that the ball will reach. Okay, so what is going to be this distance off the ground when the ball is at its highest point? Well, if we take a look at the model for the height off the ground relative to time, we see that it's a quadratic. And we see that the leading coefficient is negative. Therefore, if we graph this, we're going to get a parabola that opens downward. The maximum height, the maximum y value of a parabola that opens downward is just the y coordinate of the vertex. Okay, so to find this maximum height, all we need to know is find out the vertex of this parabola here, this quadratic function, and we're done. All right, to find the y-coordinate of the vertex, we're first going to find the x-coordinate of the vertex. And there's a formula for that that's negative b divided by 2 times a. So in this case, it's going to be negative b is 40 divided by 2 times a is negative 16. So that's equal to negative 40 over negative 32, which simplifies to 5 fourths. Okay, so the x coordinate of the vertex is 5 fourths. To get the y coordinate of the vertex, we're just going to take this 5 fourths here and plug it in for the t. So we have negative 16 times 5 fourths squared plus 40 times 5 fourths, this pen on the iPad is really weird, um, plus 5. Okay, so 
5 fourths squared, that's going to be 25 over 16. So we have negative 16 times 25 over 16 plus um, 40 times 5 over 4. plus 5. So the negative 16 times 25 over 16, the 16's cancel. We get negative 25. Um, 40 times 5 over 4, the 4 cancels with um, the 40 to leave us with a 10 left. So it's plus 10 times 5, or 50, plus 5. So here we have negative 25, plus 50 is 25, plus another 5 is 30. So the maximum height of the ball is 30 feet.